Motown, they would use a biggest up and coming artist, Rick James. In 1981, The Temptations, they would work with Rick James on his hit single, Super Freak. Melvin Franklin, he would refer to Rick James as his nephew, but in reality, they're cousins. Since The Temptations provided background vocals for Rick James' song, in return, Rick, he would write, produce, and guest star on a group's reunion album. On April 7th, 1982, the album was released, and this album reached number 37 on the Billboard 200 charts and number 2 on the Billboard Top R&B Album Charts. The album will produce two hit singles, with more on the inside that reached number 82 on the Billboard R&B charts, and standing on the top that reached number 53 on the UK charts, number 66 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, and number 6 on the Billboard R&B charts. The tour began in April of 1982. Now the tour started off very successful in the beginning. But David Ruffin, he began using cocaine again and went missing from a lot of shows, which caused the group thousands of dollars. Eddie Kendricks, his voice began to deteriorate due to the years of chain smoking, plus Dennis Edwards and Glenn Leonard began causing a lot of problems for the group by showing up to rehearsals late. This whole tour really became a very stressful situation. Eddie and David, they was dismissed from their duties and the two began performing with each other as a duo. After the tour, the group released an album titled Surface Thrills. This album was released on February 18th, 1983, and this album reached 159 on the Billboard 200 charts and number 19 on the Billboard Top R&B Album Charts. This album produced one hit song titled Love On My Mind Tonight, and this song reached number 88 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts and number 17 on the Billboard R&B charts. On this album, the group they will take a different approach and a group that will step away from their traditional soul sound and try adapting a rock and roll sound. After this album, Glenn Leonard, he was fired and replaced by Ron Tyson. Now Tyson, he was a former member of the Ethics and the Love Committee. A fun fact, Ron Tyson, he was actually part of Atlantic Records songwriting team during the time that The Temptations was present. In 1983, the group they would perform for the Motown 25th anniversary show. That same year, the group they would release their album title, Back to Basics. On this album, Ron Tyson, he was performing as lead singer. This album would produce one hit song titled Sell Away that reached number 13 on the Billboard R&B charts. And this song featured a returning Norman Whitfield to produce this song. In 1984, Dennis Edwards, he was fired from the group for missing rehearsals and showing up hungover. The group would replace Dennis with Detroit native Ali Ali Woodson. Back in 1977, when Dennis first got fired from the group, Woodson, he was considered as an honest replacement. Now, when Woodson joined The Temptations, he would help put the group back on the map with a song that was written by Woodson and Otis Williams. This song would be known as Treat Her Like a Lady. This song will reach number 48 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts and number 13 on the Billboard Dance charts, along with going number 2 on the Billboard R&B charts and number 12 on the UK charts. This song will make an appearance in Hollywood films and TV shows like the 1985 film The Last Dragon and the 1997 episode of The Jamie Foxx Show. This song became the group's biggest success on radio since 1975. In 1985, the group has seen another hit with the song Do You Really Love Your Baby. Now this song reached number 14 on the Billboard R&B charts and this song was co-written by R&B legend Luther Vandross. In 1986, the song Lady Soul was the group third and final top R&B hit of the decade. Wilson, he will remain with the group until 1987, but he was eventually fired for being late. The group that will replace Wilson with a returning Dennis Edwards who will record one more album with the group. This album was called Together Again. This album reached 112 on the Billboard 200 charts and number 12 on the Billboard Top R&B album charts. This album produced three single hits with I Wonder Who She's Seeing Now that reached number three on the Billboard R&B charts 
And number 90 on the UK charts. Look what you started that reached number 8 on the Billboard R&B charts and number 63 on the UK charts. And Do You Wanna Go With Me? That reached number 53 on the Billboard R&B charts. In 1988, Otis, he would publish his autobiography book titled Temptations. That same year, they would do the theme song for the children educational musical movement series called Kids in Motion. In 1988, Dennis Edwards, he was fired again for being late and he was replaced by Ali Wilson. In 1989, the group then released another album titled Special. On January 18, 1989, The Temptations, they was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This event had honored Dennis Edwards, Melvin Franklin, Otis Williams, David Ruffin, Eddie Kendricks, and Paul Williams. On stage, members from past and the present showed no ill feelings towards each other. Otis, he later claimed that Eddie had refused to speak to him. The group, they would end their ceremony by performing Paul Williams' signature song, Don't Look Back. After getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Edwards, Kendrick, and Ruffin decided to tour together as the former leads of The Temptations. Now, all plans were set until June 1st, 1991, when David Ruffin, he would pass away from an overdose. Shortly after, Eddie, he was diagnosed with lung cancer. In 1992, Richard Street, he would miss a performance to receive surgery to remove his kidney stones. Otis, being unaware of this activity, had called him angrily on the phone about his absence. Street felt that Otis didn't care and he would leave the group in 1993 after spending 22 years with the group. They would replace Street with Theo Peoples. Melvin Franklin, his health began to deteriorate and he would miss performances in the process. Now, Ray Davis from the Funkadelics, had fell in for Blue. On February 23rd, 1995, Blue, he would pass away after suffering a brain seizure. After the death of Franklin Davis, he would officially replace Blue. September 26, 1995, the group would release their album titled For Lovers Only. Now this album featured the last recordings of Blue and Woodson as members of The Temptations. Davis, he was later diagnosed with lung cancer and left the group and the group became a quartet for some time until they recruited bass singer Harry McGillberry. Wilson, he would step away from the group after his battles with throat cancer and they would replace Wilson with Terry Weeks. In 1998, the group, they had a chance to perform at that year's Super Bowl. The lineup around this time was Williams, Tyson, Peoples, Weeks, and McGillberry. On August 18, 1998, Group, they would release that album called Phoenix Rising. This album reached number 44 on the Billboard 200 charts and number 8 on the Billboard Top R&B album charts. This album also became the group's first 1 million selling album in over 20 years. This album was released to positive reviews. Leo Peoples, he was fired from the group due to his issues with drugs. They would replace Peoples with Barrington Bo Henderson. Now during the holiday season of 1998, Temptations miniseries was released. This miniseries had aired on NBC on November 1st and November 2nd. Otis, he had acted as an executive producer along with Hallmark and DePassy Entertainment as the production companies. It's gonna open up on I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. I'm Otis Williams. I got this singing group. Your voice knocks me out. Who are they? They sing. Hometown Records. Very good, right? You guys are really good out there tonight. Do you guys have a manager? No. Yes. Here's my card. Mr. Gordy's expecting my group for an audition. You haven't put a name for yourselves yet? The Temptations. Welcome to Motown. Oh, they love it. Biggest group in the world. Temptations forever. But for everything they had, there was something else slipping away. Corn, it ain't about the money. Our music, that's who we are. I don't know if Paul's ever gonna perform again. Either you gonna straighten up or we letting you go. You're making a big mistake, Otis. Making it to the top is never as easy as it looks. I'm the one selling the records. They coming to see me. Ain't no one man bigger than this group. You ain't no temptation no more. Without David Ruffin, y'all ain't nothing. 
and no one made it look as good as the Temptations. Featuring the original Motown songs and music by Smokey Robinson, starring Leon, Oba Baba Tunde, Charles Malik Whitfield, and B.B. Woodside. The music, the lives, and the legacy. The Temptations. Now, some of the things that was wrong in the miniseries, like the 1964 New Year's party, where Al had smashed a bottle on Paul. Now, this did happen, but it happened in October of 1963, and it was Paul who didn't want to do another encore, not Al. Al, he was fired two months later after that incident. The trademark four-headed mic that didn't debut until Dennis Edwards joined, but in reality, the four-headed mic debuted in 1966. In fact, the four-headed mic was created so David Ruffin could put on the show. And last but not least, and there's more that the show had got wrong, but I'm gonna leave it here, David Ruffin's death. He was not found dead by being dumped out of a car. His body did not go unidentified for a week. In reality, he had a drug overdose and was taken to the hospital by his chauffeur who informed the staff of who he was and his family was let known. Once when his family found out, they came right away. He only sat for two days, not a week. Otis' ex-wife, Josephine Miles, Lou's mother, Rose Franklin, David Ruffin family, and Johnny Mae Matthews as Sue Otis, Motown, DePasse, and DePasse Entertainment, Armark, and NBC for defamation of character. The judge, they ruled in the favor of the defendants, but the ruling was upheld in 2001 when the plaintiffs appealed. In 1999, the group that was inducted into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame on May 16, 2000, the album Irresistibles was released. In 2001, the group would win their third Grammy for the best traditional R&B vocal performance. In 2003, Bo, he was fired from the group, which in turn Bo sued the group for wrongful termination. They would replace Bo with GC Cameron, who was the former lead of the Spinners. Harry McGillberry, he was replaced by Joe Hardin. The group, they would release their final album on Motown on June 8, 2004, titled Legacy. In 2004, the group that was granted their release and they signed to Universal Records sub label New Door Records. The first album they would release under this label was called Reflections. During this time, Dennis Edwards created his own group called The Temptations Review, featuring Dennis Edwards. GC Cameron, he would leave the group in 2007 to focus on his solo career. He would be placed by Bruce Williamson. In 2007, Another album was released titled Back to Front. May 4th, 2010, the group, they would release another album titled Still Here. This album was heavily criticized for having autotune. February 9th, 2013, the group, they would receive the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. Six Grammys was given out to Otis, Dennis, David, Eddie, Paul, and Blue. In late 2015, Williamson and Harden would leave the group. Williamson, he was replaced by Larry Braggs, and Herndon was re replaced by Willie Green. May 4th, 2018, another album was released titled All The Time. October 2019, Braggs, he was no longer a member of the group, and the Temptations they had toured as a quartet until June 19th, 2020, when Mario Carbino replaced Braggs. The fall of 2021, the group, they were released two singles called it's going to be yes or no and when we was kings on january 28th 2022 the group they released another album titled temptation 60. december of 2021 tony grant it will replace mario carbino the temptations are still touring and making hits to this day the temptations are one of the biggest groups ever the temps they are so big in the black culture they are like our beatles the Temptations influenced so many groups like the Shy Lights, the Spinners, the Delphonics, the Soft Tones, the Monitors, and the Jackson 5 to name a few. Now, with the Temptations being an influence to all of these groups, 
Just imagine if the temptations never existed. Music today will be forever different. 